Museum.com and Barnes and Noble. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. My next Buzz pick for the night is a story that was supposed to reach the screen in the mid-1940s as a romantic western starring Clark Gable and Lana Turner, something of a successor to a lusty romantic western that Clark and Lana had made in 1941 called Honky Tonk, which had made a big pile of money for MGM. But that plan changed very quickly, as Hollywood plans often do, one reason being that World War II came along and Clark Gable joined the Air Force. Another reason was the opening on Broadway of the musical Oklahoma. Now that show opened on Broadway in 1943, caused such a sensation, everybody clamored to buy the movie rights, but they weren't for sale and wouldn't be for years. So suddenly producers and studios in Hollywood started looking for other stories with rural flavors, which could be turned into a movie musical and cash in on the public's red hot interest in Oklahoma. At MGM, for instance, people scouring the story vaults came across this story called The Harvey Girls, based on the famous chain of Harvey restaurants in the Old West that were located near the new railway stations being built in every western town and city. And somebody said, why not turn it into a musical? And very soon, it was indeed being filmed as a musical, without Clark Gable and Lana Turner, though. Gable was busy at that point making his first post-war movie adventure with Greer Garson and since Lana Turner wasn't a musical star but Judy Garland was, Judy was cast in the lead instead. Joined by new MGM star John Hodiak in the role once intended for Gable. Plus Angela Lansbury taking over a role once intended for Ann Southern and also Ray Bolger is in it, Marjorie Maine who just worked with Judy in Meet Me in St. Louis, also Preston Foster, Sid Charisse and popular singer Kenny Baker. Only MGM in the 40s could offer a cast like that in a single movie. So here is the movie with a song in it about a railroad line that became that year's most popular song on the Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe. So from 1946, The Harvey Girls. <laughs> 